Hi, this is Kai. Welcome to the next lesson in our Programming in C for Beginner series. I thought it would be beneficial to revisit compiling a program from a shell or terminal. In the previous video, we compiled our hello.c file and received an executable a.out file. By convention, your compiled programs are going to be named a.out. We immediately realize that the title of the executable file doesn't give a good description as to what it is or what it does. Furthermore, if I compile another program such as this, uh, this by C, whose content simply output goodbye world, and I'll show you that by going into the text editor, and we see it says goodbye world. I will compile the program gcc by dot C. Our a.out file is no longer going to represent the compiled version of our hello.c program, but instead, if I run it by typing in period forward slash a.out, we'll see that this program outputs goodbye world. Here's the problem. I really want two executable files which each correspond to, e uh, to either hello.c and by.c. Aside from that, it would be extremely helpful to have files with specific and informative titles. In other words, a.out just isn't cutting it. Let's instead recompile both of these programs, this time adding extra arguments to our command. I'll start by typing gcc, which is the GNU compiler, followed by my C program, hello.c. The arguments I'll add are dash "-o", which lets me output the executable file to a file name of my choosing. I'll stick with hello. Similarly, I'll do the same thing for by.c, typing in gcc by.c dash o by. Now I have two separate files which correspond to the intended C programs, and if I go ahead and run them both, I'll do hello, hello world, and then I'll do period forward slash by goodbye world. That is it for this lesson. Be sure to like and subscribe, and feedback is always appreciated.